So we're kind of do this in two steps. The first one, I'm just going to clean the knee, and then we're going to numb it up. Okay. Then we're going to let that work for a few minutes, probably about 10 minutes or so. And then I'm going to come back in and do the actual procedure, okay? Now, in your case, because you've had some symptoms on both sides, I'll probably look on both sides. Okay. Oftentimes, I'll only look on the one side where these issues are more pronounced. Right. But because you've had both, we'll probably take a little bit more time and look at both. Okay. Would we be able to find out why this clicking nose is coming from um, through this scope, or no? Is it just not? Well, again, if that if it's coming from the um, from the meniscus, we will see that. Yes. Okay. So is it real painful, or is it no. kind of like the shot that I get, I've been getting? Some of some of the type. No. Of so what it is is again, you'll feel a. Um, you, it's kind of like the dentist, right? You feel the needle stick. You feel a little local anesthetic. You right. feel some burning. Right. Thank you. And then at that point. Then I, don't, I won't feel the scope anymore. Is no. It, right. Well, once we go into that works, then you really won't feel anything anymore. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, said most people really have no problems with it. They really? get back to doing all their normal daily things. Even though they're like working on stuff's fine? Yeah. Okay. okay. You know, you may want to take it a little bit easy today, but for the yeah. most part, yeah, you can you can do whatever you're comfortable doing. Okay. So, again, just relax your leg as best you can, okay? The best thing you can do to help me is not help me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Needle stick, and like I said, a little pinch, a little burn, okay? Okay. Okay? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. And this is really going to be the worst of it. Uh, <laughs> trying to focus on my breathing. Okay, now you're doing fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm a pro after all. I went through this <laughs> leg thing. Yeah, that was probably worse than this. That was. Yeah, when they said that cat catheter, this was real good. Mm -hmm. And now we decided to um, apply the, um, I would administer the uh, monobus, we could just do it through the scope. Yeah, so once I, when I'm doing the procedure, when I have the camera in there, right. if we don't see a tear, or right. don't see any significant tear, then that's exactly what we'll do. We'll just put it right through that, so you don't even need to feel another needle. Another stick. needle, okay, good. Okay. As far as the injections, we are all done. Okay, perfect. All right. You okay? Yeah. All right. You again? My friend. <laughs> how are you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good I got the whole you. crowd. I know, I got the whole crowd. We got a real gang today. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it looks pretty small, right? But, yeah. Right, that's, that, yeah. Okay, thanks, Rob. So that's really, that's just what we do is I use kind of, the technical term is we raise a wheel, uh -huh. so we want to deaden that whole area of the skin because right. the skin has more nerve endings than anywhere. Right. And then deaden as we get down to the joint, to the joint capsule. So we want to deaden both of those areas. In your case, again, we do the both areas because we want to do, we're going to look on both sides right. underneath. Right. Instead of sometimes we don't have to do. Right. Right. Now, have you go ahead and lie back. Yeah. And you want it? Same like you were before. Perfect. Right like that. All right. And we're going to kind of reclean the area and get going. So, you know, th then there are other, other people who have come up with kind of, have tried to come up with other variations, mm -hmm. but honestly, having seen a lot of them, mm -hmm. they missed the mark completely. Mm -hmm. And to give credit here, because 
I mean, they're here, but obviously I'm doing it because I'm doing it. Um, these guys really have come up with, you know, a much better way of doing it. it you know, it's one of the few things, and we've talked about it before, it's, it's kind of rare where you find something that's, there's benefit to the patient, there's benefit to the surgeon. When this oh first God. came out, this particular product came out there's two years no ago. Six, 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 and six, and six, really it was one of those things that, like you know, was, really was store, a great option, see. you know, so to, to start, to some extent, like people that. couldn't have an MRI, Man. couldn't, you know, there were different reasons. MRI was inconclusive. There are certain things that an MRI doesn't show very well. Mm -hmm. um, but really, a lot of times, I know you had the MRI, which is kind of very iffy in terms of right. what it showed. What, is, what exactly did it show? It showed a little, there was, very small. It was very questionable if there was a small tear in the meniscus. But it was really iffy. It was on one image. But you're still having symptoms. Right. So that's why we've, we've kind of talked about, well, this gives me a clear view of, right. is that, you know, MRIs can show a tear. Just like anything, they can miss it. But one of the problems on an MRI is just because it shows a tear, doesn't really give you a lot of the detail of the tear. Right. There are tears that are there, but they're not really a problem. Right. And then there are tears that are, that are causing mechanical symptoms and problems. One of the things I really like about this is when we see the tear, we know what kind of tear exactly. it is. So yeah, exactly. We know kind of, you know, we have some more detail. So there's, there's kind of more, you know, we, we can tell. Is this a real tear? Is this a tear that's going to cause symptoms? Is this something that an MRI picked up that really doesn't mean anything and it's not really the problem we're dealing with? Okay. So that's that's one of the nice things about being able to actually see it. Okay. So hopefully I don't need a surgery, but it looks that's, like, that's, that's what we're gonna find out. That's what we're gonna find out. Okay. And like you said, if it's something that we think needs a surgery, yeah. then we're gonna go that route. If it's something that we see that doesn't need it, right. then we'll do that injection and you know we'll have a clear answer there that right. no, this is not that. Right. Okay, so you just relax. Again, you'll feel touch, you'll feel some pressure. You really shouldn't feel any pain, okay? Okay. Can you go back to work after this? No, actually, thank you for reminding me. I want to get a note. So can you have them a note up front? Yeah. That says you were... That says I was brutalized. Brutalized. You're brutalized. You're brutalized. <laughs> You're not going to work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can get you All right. Something. So what's going to happen now? Rob's going to kind of move your leg around a little bit to open up that space. Go ahead, Rob. Nice and slow. Okay. You okay? Yeah, it's just a lot of pressure, like I said. Try and let Rob move, move your leg around. The right. more you can relax, the better off you are, okay? Right. Rob didn't tell me I need to go do yoga before coming. <laughs> Absolutely. I should have warned you. Should have warned me, man. <laughs> Is the scope already in? Yeah, oh, already right. in. ACL. And we're kind of coming down and in. Got a lot of junk in there. You got a lot of kind of crud in there. A little scar tissue and stuff. But I do? A little bit. For what? I mean, well, remember, we know you had a little bit of arthritis in there, right? We've talked right. about that. Right. But that's in the joint itself. Right? Yeah, we're in the joint. Oh, you're in the capsule already. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're in. We're. <laughs> We're in your knee, we're, you know, you said already seen your ACL. Right, right, that's true. Right. Right. Rob, yes. come and have you. Are you able to bring him up any higher? All right, let, no, try, yeah, just let him try and cross your leg if you can, okay? Okay. Sorry, trying to I know, I know. do the best we can here. No, I know, I know. Still pretty sensitive there. Yeah. I just had, I just was telling him, I went there and aspirates to a bunch of crap out of it. Really? Way. Yeah. It was actually worse. Was it? Yeah, the aspirate. A lot. About three needles. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. There we are. 
you got a tear. I do? Yeah, you got a real tear. No, what? It's a little piddly one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pretty good size radial tear in the meniscus there. I will show you in a All right. Mm -hmm. Carrie, can you do me a favor? Yeah. You want to show him? So it's, it's, it, it, so it's worse than what the MRI shows. It's much shows. worse than what the MRI shows. You see that kind of long, I, and I can show you, but you see that right diagram? through here. So you see, so this is the normal meniscus coming through here, and you see this little projection piece yeah. coming out like that, yeah, and you yeah. almost see a line right there. Yeah. So that's where your tear is, and that little flap coming out. Mm. No, 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 we don't. I'm kidding. We're start a little loose piece of cartilage floating <laughs> yeah. around there. So you've got a tear, you've got some loose cartilage. Yeah, you got a little bit going on there. Are you, uh, do I? Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. So you think arthroscopy is... Yes. So here's what I'm going to suggest. Wow. Let's come down. Okay. What I'm going to tell you is I don't need to go medial and look at the medial side of your knee. Okay. And the reason I don't need to do that is this. From what I've already seen, we need to, yeah, we need to deal with this for real. So we're not going to do the monovis today. We need to deal with the tear. And that's why you're continuing to have pain. Because I already know there's a tear and I know we need to deal with it, if you want me to look on the inner side, I can. But what I would tell you is, since I, you know, I think what we need to do is treat it definitively and go surgically. It's not going to change anything. What, if you have something going on in the inner side, we're going to see it at the time of surgery anyway. Okay.